Hello, everybody. How's it going? I think I look better here than here. I think it's further away. Anyway, um, <clears throat> how's everybody doing? Good, 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 good. Today, we are going over my favorite Conan story. That's not a good clap talk thing. Um, but before we do that, I want to show... Why am I talking like that? God, I'm so fucking annoying. All right, so let's look at it. Boom. Fingering the mundane. $257 pledged so far. And that's over 20%. And we've only been doing this for like a couple days this is epic, epic, epic stuff here, guys. Um, so, yeah, like, the sooner we hit the goal, the sooner I could throw in the stretch goals. And um, those are going to be sick. So um, I'm super excited. I just want to thank everyone who is putting into this and who believe in me and who support me. It's fucking amazing. Like, I just love you guys. Um, and also, if you, um, are a patron on Patreon, um, you get extra shit on top of all the shit you get from doing this, if that's something you want to do. So, bam! And here we are. So, Conan, my favorite Conan story, what is it? Um, some would call it the Slithering Shadow while others would call it Zuthal of the Dusk, I think. Um, I don't know why I always screw that up. I'm doing all these stories, like all these Conan stories and all these Lovecraft stories. And all these stories, the titles are like, This of the This, or This of the This. And it always sounds weird, falling off my tongue, you know? So anyway... So let's get into this. Why is this my favorite story? It's my favorite story because it has, like, a desolate desert with uh, one place in the middle of nowhere. And then all of this, like, exotic stuff around it. And we'll talk about it. Hot lady stuff. And then there's some... Um, scary fucking demon monster shit and then conan has like one of his like most like brutal fucking battles ever and um it ends with a joke so like how the fuck could you not like this we have um conan standing in the desert with this chick natala at his feet because she's fucking parched and he's like, drink the rest of the water. And um, she's like, oh, no, I didn't know it was all of it. Oh, my gosh, Conan, what are we going to do? And um, he's like, I think I see something in the distance. And so, like, they go. And they see this big walled city. And um, the guard at the front is dead, like, leaning there all fucking weird. <clears throat> and, um, the chick's, like, kind of freaking out, and he's like, um, like, well, we're gonna get some fucking water here if it kills us or whatever. So they walk in past the body, and then all of a sudden the body gets up and, like, attacks him. So Conan, like, chops the dude's head off. And they find a well... But the well doesn't have, like, a thing to pull the stuff up. So he's like, um, like, I'll make it to where no one can drink the water in this town. And he fucking um, tosses the headless body um, into the well. And there's, like, blood all over the side of the well. And Natal is like, there's blood on the well. They're going to find us. And he's like. 
like, well, if we don't get something to drink in the next couple minutes, like, it won't matter if someone's coming to kill us or not. So they go in and they find this big feast in one of the um, doors they walk into. And there's nobody there. And Conan's like, score. And so he sits. The towel is freaking out. And he's like, chill the fuck out. I'm going to eat. I'm going to drink some wine. And shit's going to be okay. So he's doing this. And then this is the funniest fucking shit ever. This fucking guy comes in. And he's like looking at Natal and he's like, oh, baby, yeah. Oh, and then he looks over at Conan and he's like, what kind of dream is this? You know, um, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, okay, you can go now. And Conan's like, fuck you, dude. And he's like, what, what, what? And um, so basically <laughs> the guy realizes that he's not dreaming and that there are like people here. And, um. He kind of freaks out. Then we get this shit where, like, um, a shadow is appearing and taking people. And when Conan says this to the dude, the dude's like, oh, like um, Kevin in Home Alone, like running through the house. And he's like running around, and then all of a sudden you don't hear him anymore. And Conan's just like, like, what a bunch of psychos, like, however he talks. And um, then they come across this Stygian beauty named Thallus. And Thallus starts explaining everything to him. That um, there is this demon that lives under the city named Thog, and Thog comes when he's hungry and eats motherfuckers, and if Thog wants to eat you, there's nothing you can fucking do about it. But um, the people of Zuthal, this village they're in, um, they have come up with ways to make, like, the Black Lotus um, not kill you but give you these, like, super lucid, amazing dreams. And since there's not a whole lot to do in Zuthal, and everyone knows that eventually um, Thog is going to kill them, they all just, like, go into this weird slumber and have these, like, super, like, um, sexy dreams. And that's basically how they live their life. So the dead guard up front who wasn't dead wasn't dead because he was dreaming and um, got woken up or whatever. So this chick, Dallas, is looking at Conan and she's like, Rawr. and so that makes Natala go, Rawr. and so Dallas then looks at Natala and is like, Rawr. so like there's this whole like, um, like, he's my bitch, you know, thing going on. And um, then Conan, just like in the last story, like, kind of turns around and um, he sees, like, a like a curtain moving, but Thallus and Natal are gone. And he's like, what the what, you know? And um, you would think he would learn his lesson by now. Um, so Thallus drags Natala into the dungeons and chains her up and starts, like, just fucking brutalizing her. And she's like, Thog, I'm gonna leave you here for Thog. Thog's gonna fucking eat you. And Conan will be mine, you stupid bitch. And it's, like, super brutal. She's freaking out. Um, and while this is going on, um, Thog comes and gets her. And, but not Natala, he gets Thallus. So now, um, fucking Natala's in the dark. And when Thog came, she's like, 
couldn't tell like if his head was at the bottom or if his head was at the top. It was just like this big giant shadow, but like it had like this like amphibian um, cast to it. So like I think I made out a face, but I I mean it might not have been his face at all. So there's all this shit going on. Conan's trying to figure out a way to get down there. And he gets into some little adventures of his own. But by the time he gets down there, he gets down there right when um, Thog comes back. Because now that he's taking care of Thalus, he's going to take care of Natala. So then Conan comes flying in, and dude, they fucking wreck each other. And Thog is fucking Conan up. And um, obviously, Conan's going to fucking kill Thog. Um, so, spoiler. Um, yeah, and a lot of people don't like it. I like talking about all this shit. So, yes, my Conan videos and my Lovecraft videos are going to be spoilers. So, make sure you go over to weirdmass.com, read the shit, and then um, you can come, like, hang out and talk about it. So, they go up and they find this, um, like, fountain in a room and um natal is trying to like cleanse conan's wounds and wrap them and stuff and conan's like freaking out he has a sword he's like losing it and he's like trying to wipe the blood out of his eyes so he can see if somebody's coming but like no matter how much he like wipes the blood out of his eyes he still can't really see good and she's like looking at his back and his back's like all lashed out just fucked up and purple and blue and yellow and it's just like he's a fucking mess so she's like wiping him down and stuff and then she sees a hand coming out from behind a curtain and so she takes conan's poignard or dagger and goes up and when she opens the curtain she sees some other chick like passed out on a divan and um she sees this like golden um, wine in this thing. And she's like, oh shit, that's what Homegirl was talking about. Um, Thallus, the golden wine that like heals you and everything. So she takes it over to Conan and starts giving it to him. And at first he's not into it. And then he's just like, chug, 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 chug. And he's like, woo, I feel great. And he's all healed up now. And he's like, let's get the fuck out of here. She said there's an oasis and hours march to the south or whatever. So it's nighttime. Let's just get the fuck out of here and go. And um, Natalia's like, but what about your wounds? And he's like, woman, let's go. Let's get out of here. So, and he's like, oh yeah, and you're naked. So put some fucking clothes on. <laughs> And in all this, she completely forgot that she was naked. So she puts, like, she fashions some kind of um, thing out of some curtains to, you know, just protect her body from the elements. Um, they get some water. He makes, like, a kind of rope thing to go out the window. It's about 30 feet down. He lets her down. He lets the water down. And then he goes... And they're just walking, and he's like, yeah, they might come after us since, like, we left the rope thing there, but I don't think they will, you know? They're kind of lazy motherfuckers. And so they're just, like, walking, and then she's like, this was all your fault! And he's like, what? And um, she's like, if you wouldn't have flirted with that chick, none of this would have ever happened. <laughs> and he's like, it's not my fault she fell in love with me. I mean, she's only human. <laughs> Best cheesy ass fucking line to end a fucking story. But yeah, so it's so fucking good. And then I think, not 100%, but I think I remember reading that Conan the Raider is the, like, tour novel that takes place after... Um, this story, either before or after, I can't remember which one's which. Or was it, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I'm, But I'm going to have that, so I'm going to kind of dip into that. But 
Where's my book? Shoot on a biscuit. Hang on a second. Okay. Right, so now we have the Devil and Iron next time. And the Devil and Iron is an important story because this story references the things that happened in Zuthal. So, um, this is one of the one of the only times that there could be some kind of um, link between stories. Continuity, that's what I was looking for. Um, and then tomorrow we have The Shadow Out of Time by H.P. Lovecraft. Um, if, I'm going to try to fucking do it right now um, and put that up on weirdmass.com so you could read that. So again, um, all the links are down below. Weird Mass, Discord, the whole thing. Um, oh, and Indiegogo. So let's go back to this. We're at 257 21% of the way to the goal. Let's get that up. Let's get that going. Um, you guys are awesome. And thank you so much. And I will see you guys later.